yes they are. Okay. How many steps does this one have? It's pretty short, so that's good. I think to show our heroicness, we're going to have to have a heroic boss fight, of course. Take a resolved, resolved themed picture. Red. All right. First up, we gotta capture resolve. And in my humble opinion, there ain't no better backdrop than right here, where jungle meets desert. Look right at the camera and think of when we made our heroic charge straight into this godforsaken tangle. All right. Make sure to get my good side. Snap a few shots of Red 13 to provide Maeve with inspiration for her next work. Okay. Okay, make way for the model. <laughs> Some nice photos here. Okay, Aerith apparently can teleport now. She did a ward shift <laughs> to get through there. Fast travel, you absolute godsend. It'd be impossible to, to do all these quests and all this exploring without fast travel anyway, but still. I think that's where... I think I read something on Twitter about them talking about, like, they couldn't have made this game on the PS4. They really needed the PS5 for this one. And I'm not even sure they're, meant, they're talking about that in terms of the sheer scale. Like maybe you could tone things down like another notch or two. Like flowers and foliage, I think the, the quality in general is pretty high, especially from a distance. Like this stuff looks really good. But like if they tone things down even more, they could probably make this work on a PS4. But the fast travel would be absolutely killer, man. Like they'd probably you'd probably have to wait like 30 seconds every time you fast traveled at least or more. And I think that would really destroy a playthrough that's already just incredibly long. So I think Ultimately, from that standpoint alone, I get needing to do it on PS5 and PS5 only. Well, here we are. Uh, can't say I've got fond memories of this dump, considering. But hey, that's why it's perfect for capturing the theme of suffering. All you gotta do is picture Scarlet's ugly mug and wear golden. Easy as pie, am I right? Okay. One pensive looking Nanaki coming up. Yeah, just just picture the, the mug and not the boobs. Otherwise might struggle. Make sure to catch my good side, alright? I'm gonna retake. Last one is Odyssey. Don't know about you, but that screams airstrip to me. Let us fly on the wings of dreams together and claim our freedom. You know, like the book. Yeah, not gonna argue with that. This track, man, I, I think I'm gonna get it on my Spotify. It's just, it it suits the location so perfectly. It really just has this jungly, like, walk. I just really do, like, you close your eyes and you listen to this music and you just imagine yourself walking through, like, a jungle kind of place. It's beautiful. It's really, really nice. And that's how you just make great soundtracks. This, we were having a discussion about this um, literally yesterday with uh, some friends. And it's like, uh, again, I, I, on Twitter I saw something from uh, the god himself, Oematsu, about how um, a lot of like modern games tr try to make their soundtracks too much like movie soundtracks. And that that doesn't serve the medium as well. And it makes things more kind of like plain and forgettable kind of thing and I keep saying like one of the kind of hotter takes I have about 16 even though I'm a big fan of the game in general was that I did feel this soundtrack was a bit overrated it won like best soundtrack of the BJs and that kind of thing I'm like yeah it was really good um, for a Final Fantasy soundtrack it was, it was basically average in my opinion um, and part of the reason why was because it felt too much like a movie soundtrack at times where 
Like the music suited the storytelling and the scenes and all that kind of stuff well, but it just didn't stand out. It almost blended a bit too much. It was too good in that sense for just blending in and, and kind of um, complementing like the scenes and what was going on and stuff. But sometimes I truly think you need to make something a bit different that stands out on its own. And the older games, I think because they weren't a cinematic to start with, obviously they had that benefit anyway. So they have an unfair advantage, but that's why I think the tracks in like the older games, in my mind, on average, they, they just stand out more to me. And I was saying that for me, the last great, truly great Final Fantasy soundtrack was probably 13, in my opinion. So yeah, this is one of those like truly great tracks, in my opinion. Um, considering how much it's heard and how much of an area it covers, uh, I think it's fantastic. I wouldn't say overall the soundtrack good, like fits into that sort of like one of the greats category. It, again, it's I think it's very good. Maybe, maybe as good as 60, maybe slightly better. But it piggybacks off the OG7's incredible soundtrack anyway. So it's a bit unfair in that sense. This is the last one. So make sure you look extra spiffy red. Theme is Odyssey. Recall the way you felt about setting off for Cosmo Canyon. The nerves, the excitement, the joy, the hope. So, strike a pose like, um... Uh... No worries, I got it. In general, uh, Barrett would make a good director. He's good at giving instruction and feeling. Yes, he didn't tell him what pose to have, but in general... Make sure to catch my good side, all right? Yeah, I did think there would be another one. Yeah, that's Odyssey for you. That makes more sense. Perfect. Better hurry and get these back to Miss Mabel. Mabel. Let's go. And that is a extremely brief, but extremely niche reference to a song by the artist Mabel. Here you go, Miss Mabel. Think these will spark your imagination? What is this feeling? It's as if my hand has become a conduit for the gods of prose. <laughs> there once was a crimson warrior who everyone loved. He was so strong they called him the king of the forest. But he wanted to be even stronger, so he went on an adventure. That's actually not too bad of a start. While on his journey, he came across a group of three <laughs> brave knights. The knights were very impressed, and they told him, You are the king of which the legends foretold. Please, lead our people to victory. Oh, wow. I like where this is going. He gazed off into the distance and with conviction declared, Though I began my journey as king of the forest, that is not where I shall end it. My future lies far beyond the woods. This is bound for the bestseller list. A surefire hit. Right, Cloud? You never know. Oh, man, you <laughs> really just don't get it, do you? Listen, you gotta have faith. If you don't write something you think will sell, it won't. So believe. Trite, but quite true. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to read this to my Marlene. Don't want to rush you, but I hope you can finish it soon. Thank you, and I promise that the instant it's complete, I'll make sure to send you and your daughter a copy. Oh, right, and one for our best deal brainchild. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So, charismatic actors, characters, plus a great soundtrack. But again, as I say, that one obviously piggybacks off the original, so it's... it's with this one, I'm a bit torn in terms of like how great the soundtrack is because it's like there's definitely a strong element of a reason a soundtrack is, is great is because of what I remember from Seven and it's a track that I love from there. So I'm obviously loving hearing it here. So like, yeah, you guys know what I mean. Oh, there's another quest that came up. Okay. But yeah, it's really good. But how much of it is due to like original new stuff or the quality of the arrangements, etc. That I'm not as sure about. But. Right, this is the last one, I assume. Cisne, of course. 
we had a no battle quest, which is rare. I think time to get back to the usual stuff. Relax, I'll be fine. Hey there. Heading out? On patrol. Got a slightly troubling report. But not troubling enough to let us go with her. I'm captain. It just makes sense for me to go. Yeah, but not by yourself. We're talking in circles. If I may, as you can tell by looking at him, Cloud here has a lot of experience taking care of trouble. So, why don't you send him on patrol instead? Don't worry, I'll go. Give you time to talk things over. What do you think? <sighs> okay then, if you've got time to spare. Recently, folks have spotted some foul-looking fiends outside the village. I want you to head to the observation tower. Take a look around. See if you notice anything suspicious. Just leave it to him. Oh, I want to fight with Cisne. Damn it. So we have come up across come across some um, watchtowers already. Like this one. Thankfully they're also fast travel points. Again, smart. Yeah, I, it's it's one of the saving graces of the Gongaga area. Like, audio visually, it's my favorite area. It's so cool and so beautiful, and the music is so good. Uh, navigationally, it's it's my least favorite. <laughs> and in terms of like the material and side quests, this was the stage of the game where I was just like, this is getting a bit much. Uh, but those two elements kind of keep me sufficiently invested that it still ends being a, ends up being an overall positive for me. It goes a long way. Everyone's different. For some people, they're just not going to care about the music and the visuals here. It won't be enough. They'll hate Gongaga. And some people will be like, this was literally the best area in the entire game. No time know. for sightseeing. All right, here we go. Activity over there. Let's go. Again, I'm sure we can use fast travel to just zip through. Now we don't have to waste time navigationally. Like we did before. Alright, it's these bros. Uh, wait. Maybe I should prep a little bit first. Yeah, big boy's up to 6,200 HP. Nice. I gotta remember to keep resting between these things. As the game goes on, you're seeing just how powerful magic is. I'm leaning into it more and more, but as you see as well, it's helping me win the battles relatively easily, so why would I not? And well, it's Final Fantasy. It's it's all about the magic. Don't overdo it. I got it. Yeah, the regen won't be enough to save it. Quick. Yeah, sacrifice a little there. Uh, these guys are weak to this. Again, nice track here as well. I think it has some of the best music of the game overall, Gongaga. Tifa's got a limit already? Okay, sure, we'll take that. You ain't gonna get away. Don't stop till Leave it, it to me. Bring it. Yeah, they're quite tanky boys. Good old star shower. No time to celebrate. Hmm. You can find fiends like these anywhere. Sisney must have been referring to something else. Back to the outlet. Okay. Fast travel to the rescue. 
I think for the next one, I'll go to a chakra stop first, use a cushion, and go from there. I think I spotted something. Let's check it out. Just can't get enough of this track. I guess because I haven't heard it for a while, I'm just really enjoying it again. Towards the end of my time in Gongog, I think I was definitely at the limit of still enjoying things, just being like much more neutral about it. <laughs> so the music just wasn't enough. Is this the guy? It is, okay. More of these. Right. Okay, this go. is one where we can really just exploit this. Yeah, Don't overdo it. Call yeah, everything basically died. Ah. Uh. We gotta switch it out. Need my help, do you? Let's see if we can just finish it before it replicates. Uh. Third time's a charm, right? Cloud, look over there. I just saw something moving. I have a feeling it's not going to be this one either. It's a bit small of an area, no? Large shadow. Oh, sorry. Okay. Bingo. Let's not lose sight of it. Nice. Wow, that's ginormous. That's a really cool looking frog. Gig and toad, let's go. Okay, let's go. You got this. I got this. There's got some health as well. Best do it right. Ice on their tongues will pressure them. Countering their tongue or tiring them out will cause them stir for a moment. Sit for a moment. Okay. Right, we've got some options here. It's on you. I got it. Tifa can begin this. Alright! Watch and learn! Do a bonus round here. Ow. Hang back. Take the lead. Let me handle it. Right. What? It jumped towards Barry. It was nowhere near me. This is my turn. This fight's not over yet. Bring in the heat. Damn it. You're up. I got this. Yeah, Tifa got picked on a lot here. Let's go for... I'm actually gonna... It's on you. Here it comes. Convert this into a venom. This Charge up the, the gauges ready for stagger. What synergy abilities are we missing? Ah, teeth is missing one. And then these two can synergize. Keep 
Time to unload any more of that, but get out of there. I know what they're trying to pull. But I'm sure Cloud already knew that. There we go. Yeah, well... <laughs> View from the Outlook was pretty nice, huh? I like to relax there. Plus, it's easy to spot people coming our way well in advance. Wait, are you... expecting someone? I've got a lot of questions I've been meaning to ask you, you know. <laughs> Not so. Fine. But I don't have all day. You get one question, and one question only. Damn it. Why is Cisne so cute though, man? How could she have been a Turk? It's ridiculous. Who are you waiting for? Who are you really? Actually, I'm good. What is it you're hiding from us? Um, who are you waiting for? Who are you really? Well, we know who she is already. It's obvious. I want to go with one of these two. Obviously, I want to say Zack for this one. Aerith asked about this anyway. As silly as it sounds, someone who isn't with us anymore. But he doesn't feel gone. It's like I wouldn't be surprised if I woke up one day and saw him outside our gates. He's not an ex or anything like that. I know what he was, but... I really miss the guy. I get it. Wish I could see him again. Make sure he's alright. Though if I'm being honest, it's just for my sake, isn't it? Not his. Something happened between you? This is gonna sound cryptic and weird, I know, but... I stole part of his life from him. And I gotta carry that. Hold on. Didn't I say one question? Anyway... This world of ours is about to change. That's not my gut talking. The writing's been on the wall for a while now. And there's nothing we can do to stop what's coming. I bet you could, if anyone. That's sweet. You know... I think I see it now. What he saw in you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> and on that note, let's head back. There we go. So Aerith has hit the peak as well. Funnily enough, Tifa and Yuffie are the only ones left. <laughs> but we've got to make sure that happens too. On second thought, I think I'll take a moment. Ah, I thought maybe we could get a cheeky, like second question but yeah there you go right so I think that means we're done completely with Gongaga now um, we wanted to go to the Cosmo Canyon region I think um, we had to do the thingy this guy was it or was it the Coral region? Let me check the quest quickly. Jabberwock Horn. Yeah, I don't remember where the Jabberwock was. Uh, let me check the Coral region. But she said you wouldn't find it on this region anyway, right? So let's check here. This was the Mind Flayer. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um, Cosmo. And we get to hear the theme again. 
Hopefully it's more hey, stuff with Book. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. May the blessings of the planet be upon you all, friends of Nanaki. What happened? Did you see that right? Nanaki. Step right up, folks. The sheer amount of detail in Cosmo Canyon, the amount of NPCs, the general busyness is wild. They've really kind of sold it as this almost like pilgrimage kind of place, touristy hub. Hard luck traveler. I think maybe one more will unlock. We'll see. Okay. So this fight's coming relatively easy. It's coming at a price in terms of MP and health. I'm not bothering really to heal much or do much. I'm going very attacking, but I think it's working well. Obviously, there's going to be fights in which that doesn't work, but for now, it seems to work pretty damn well. Let's go. I would have to imagine they're probably just going to have a flat six for each area in terms of side quests, so I would not be surprised at all if another one appeared after this. Tifa quest. Uh, oh, this guy. Wait. Wow. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's good to see you too, Yuffie. And who's this? Oh, this is TJ. He was Avalanche HQ's uh, guy on the ground. Informant? Right. And these are my helpless yet lovable minions. It really is a small world. Hmm? You say something? Nope. Just glad you're okay. I'll be honest, when I first caught wind of Shinra's plan to drop the Sector 7 plate, I was pretty skeptical. But after you and I parted ways, I told HQ about everything I'd heard, and went around making sure my friends got out in time. And most of them did, but not all. So many lives I could have saved. I'll never forget the sight of the plate crashing down. Gonna haunt me forever. I take it you tuned into Colonel Lodbrock's speech. It makes me proud to see folks finally banding together against that piece of shit company. Wu Tai is gonna be at the heart of this fight, and I'm ready to risk it all to make sure we win. Nayo and them? We were on the run together after we fled Midgar. They decided to stay in Cosmo Canyon said they wanted to brush up on their planetology. Though, I don't know how well that'll go for him. All three seemed pretty down. I hope they're okay. So, what now? Actually, since fate has deigned to bring us back together, mind if I ask a favor? You see, I ran afoul of this big old fiend. I put the pedal to the metal trying to escape, and, well, now I'm paying the price. Pretty sure the sucker's still around here somewhere. Mind, uh, smoking him out and taking him down? A favor, huh? I suppose I could be persuaded, seeing as we are friends. But don't expect me to lift a finger for free. <laughs> Just name your price. <laughs> and you've got yourself a deal. So how do we find this thing? When it's not hunting, it's hiding. So it might be underground. But... It should be easy to track down with one of those vibration detectors the Moogles sell at their shop. Well, I'll be. Those monsters have got it all. You mean this? Right. I'll try. 
So apparently I picked this up already. I was going to say, maybe this is one of those things where if you've ignored the, the Moogle stuff, like you've done uh, very little world intel, but you want to do side quests, it might force you into doing some of that stuff. But we'll see. 